What's going on beautiful people? Welcome to We Teach AI Designs and in this video I'm going to show you how I use Midjourney to create some super dope AI art. Let's get it. Okay, so first things first, you're going to have two tabs open. The first tab is going to be your Midjourney website. You're going to go to midjourney.com. You're going to sign in. You're going to navigate to the home page. And this is where you'll see all of the designs that you've created inside Midjourney. Good, bad, dope, whack, all of that good stuff. The second tab you're going to have open is your Discord tab. With your Discord tab, this is where you're going to actually create your designs. You don't actually create your designs on the Midjourney webpage. You create your designs inside Discord. Now, most of you will see the Midjourney tab right here, channel. Um, and this is dope to kind of just go through to be able to get inspiration to see what other people are designing. But when I'm designing, I don't want my content to get lost in here. So what I wanna do is go to the top left-hand corner and click direct messages. This and then Midjourney bot. This is where I wanna actually create my designs. So we're gonna navigate over back to the, uh, the mid journey uh, website and we're going to go to community feed here you'll find a lot of dope inspiration in regards to what other people are creating what they're designing uh, what styles they're using to be able to create art for your own this is this is just as inspiration you know you can just go in and kind of start playing around yourself and and that would be you know um ideal but for me i kind of like to go through different art and different prompts and just kind of get some inspiration for instance right here i think this is some dope uh pop art abstract art uh anime digital art type vibe so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually click the three dots here and i'm gonna click copy prompt so what that does is it copies these words right here consumed by envy gorgeous stunning vibrant digital art by can't really say that name and Kim Price. So we're gonna take that prompt and we're going to go ahead, click imagine right here. And we're going to paste that prompt right there. And we're gonna kind of change it up just a little bit. Consumed by envy, gorgeous, stunning, vibrant arts. Um, let's say I wanted to create this into, let's say a black woman. So we're gonna put that at the top, consumed by envy i'm gonna say yeah i'm gonna say i'm gonna keep everything the same one thing i'm gonna do differently is I'm, i want to make sure we keep that same vertical uh vertical frame here uh it's nice and vertical it's very long it's almost like a comic book cover i'm gonna teach you guys a code to use i'm gonna hit space right here i'm gonna click dash dash a r space two semicolon three and what that does is it gives me a, a vertical uh image it it frames it so that way we could use it for a magazine cover comic book uh illustration um or even if we wanted to view it vertically on our phone so that's going to be the code that we use so we're going to go ahead and speed this up while uh mid journey processes all right, so mid journey is done processing. And I know what you're thinking. Yo, all you did was copy and paste the same prompt from the thing. You should be original. You should be doing something new. But the dope thing about mid journey is it's, it's very random. It's very um, abstract. So even though I use the same prompt as you see here, once you actually see the four images it rendered, you can see that it's extremely different. It's very different. It has its own unique flavor um, and its own unique vibe and it's dope. And it's something that I want to go ahead and use. So you got uh, the top uh, left image and it's gonna always spit out four images. So you got one, two, three, four. I think I like the fourth one the best. So what I wanna do is I want to select upscale U4. That's what U1, U2, U3, U4 means. It means upscale, while V1, V2, V3, V4 means a uh, variation. So if I wanted to do a variation of the fourth image, I could do that with V4. Or if I wanted uh, Mid Journey to render me four new selections without me having to copy and paste this again, I can click reroll right here. So while uh, Mid Journey 
takes less than a minute to go ahead and render. I'm gonna speed this up and we're gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, dope, so mid journey is complete. So let's go ahead and take a look at our image. Go ahead, click it. We're gonna click open in browser. This gives me an opportunity to be able to view it uh, even bigger. And this is what we have. This is the image that we have. It's, I think it's really unique, very dope, abstract art. And this right here will be the quickest way to go ahead and create some AI art yourself. You can always just start right there in the community feed just like I showed you, you can get inspiration from the different, um, uh, over probably hundreds of thousands of art here. You use your Discord tab and you go ahead, click imagine, you paste the prompt and you can get some really creative, dope stuff by using the same prompts other people are using, or you can always just switch it up, change it up. You know, we could always make this a uh, purple background, a yellow background, a blue background. Uh, the creativity is endless. Um, but again, you know, if you guys have any other questions, please let me know. I would love to uh, create videos that are uh, more kind of tailored to what you guys are looking for. So until next time, y'all. Peace.